Alright, so I'm going to go over how to install Clack, which is a creative coding library for Unity, and get some MIDI and audio reactive stuff going. So I recommend installing Unity Hub to get whatever version of Unity you want to run. I'm going to do it in the most recent recommended release, which is this one. Once you have that installed, um, you can go ahead and head over to Kajaro Takahashi's GitHub, where you can find Clack, which is what we're going to build our Unity project based on. And you can just click download the zip here, get the whole zip, and you can kind of go through the documentation. You can see this is the node system we're going to use. Um, there's also OSC Clack here, which is what we're going to use to get our MIDI devices in, so go ahead and download the zip of that as well. And also Clack Lasp. This is so you can get some audio inputs into Unity. And once you have all those downloaded, I already have them here, you can take Clack, grab the folder, and just pull it somewhere I'm gonna put it on my desktop and this is gonna be the project that we build the plugins into so you can name this whatever you want I'm just gonna name it clack MIDI whatever um, and then open up unity hub and you can click add here and then find your folder and just select it and then you'll see it was built in a different Unity version. That's fine. Just select the version that you have installed. The most recent works with this. So once you select that, just click on it. It's going to ask you if you want to upgrade, confirm, and let it do its thing. And while that's doing its thing, you might as well grab this, Kavant Spray, which is a GPU mesh particle animation system for Unity by Kajaro. He's great. I definitely recommend after you finish the tutorial just going through all of what he has in his repositories. He's one of the coolest guys in the Unity game right now. Um, but yeah, grab this. We're gonna add some MIDI controls and some audio reactive stuff to this. And that should be loaded. It is. I'm gonna grab this tab here and actually just pull it over here because it's just how I'm used to working and from here we're gonna add some other stuff so to get OSC clack in there I pull out this package and just put it on my desktop and then go up to here import package and assets custom package and just grab the OSC clack and then this will pop up, just hit import, it'll import what it needs. And then to get Clack Lasp, which is the audio reactive stuff, we're going to actually just pull this assets folder out onto our desktop. And then from there, we just need to drop a few things in. So. This is the Clack Lasp folder. Might as well just grab this Kino. It's like a post-processing effect. Uh, you're going to need Lasp, and then grab the tests too, because they're useful having, I guess. Oh, I'm not putting these in the Assets folder, which I should be. So I'm going to put these in the Assets folder. And then you also need to go into this Clack folder and grab the audio and put that in this folder right here. So once that's all set up, go back to Unity and it's going to load what you've just added. And now you have everything you need to do audio reactivity and OSC controls in Unity. But we're also going to do one more installation, which is we're going to do Spout. So we can send this to Touch Designer and kind of do some compositing after. I don't think I'll go over that in this tutorial, but just to go over how to install this, 
because we've gone over three different ways to open different Unity projects from GitHub. This is another way to do it. Um, how to install, you need to go to the scope registry section and then after the changes it should look like this. So to install Spout for Unity, I'm just going to copy all of this from here to here and hit Control C and then going back to my the project that we're working on we're gonna go to packages and then the manifest and then from here I'm just gonna highlight this and hit control V and then this should all be in the right place from there hit save and then close so that'll add this spout so f from here you can just close out of this because the spout's installed now we have this pretty decent build of unity that you can do a lot with so first thing I want to show you is clack has a really cool sample project file this is kinda how I figured out how to use this was just digging through the examples and as you see here uh, patch contains the script that you can click open patcher on and from there you can drag this anywhere you like it I'm gonna put it down here because makes sense and as you can see here it's got a node system it's taking a button input and it's doing stuff so this is a really cool simple node system that you can get started in with unity that doesn't take a lot to learn um, there's a lot that you can reverse engineer just in this project like I figured out how to do a lot by just figuring out what Kajaro has set up here so this is a cool little test scene the wiring sample scene you could learn a lot from it so definitely check that out um, from here I think that we're just going to jump straight into uh, MIDI devices and controlling the particle system I mentioned earlier. So I, I've got done a tutorial on how to use MIDI devices in Unreal, so I'm not going to go over how to set your MIDI device up to send OSC messages. You can check out my Unreal tutorial, which is right here. The first eight minutes go over how to get this OSC out, which is the same. So just check that out and the only thing different is when you're sending OSC out to this plugin it's looking for port 9000 instead of in the Unreal tutorial it's looking for 8000 so just make sure your OSC out from Touch Designer is sending from 900 or 9000 instead of 8000 and you should be good so the last thing I'm going to do is install that Kavant spray which is the GPU particle system I'm just going to grab the package out from it and then also grab the, the test and the textures. Why not? So once those are out, we'll install the package first. And just hit import. And from there, just grab these two folders, put it in assets, and so we can basically pick any of these. This is what I'm going to build some interaction with. Um, I'm just going to pick Swirl. Why not? So this is Kavant Spray. It's a pretty cool little mesh particle system. and to get some reactivity going with this we're going to just go over here and create an empty and I just always do nodes in all capital because it's easy for me to find that and then add a script and we're gonna add a patch and then open patcher so now that we have this we can assign some inputs coming in from OSC or audio so this is from that OSC clack and this is from class clack lasp so they're both working um, we're getting a couple errors but if you just hit clear it's fine you can sort those out at your own pace they're really 
not that important if they're yellow. So, um, yeah, so you just open Patcher, and then here we have an OSC input. We can rename this, so I can rename this Slider1 if I want. So we know that's Slider1, and then here is where you're going to need to type in the messages coming in from Unreal, or Touch Designer. And uh, Touch Designers and OSC always sends with this forward slash. So that's set up to receive the input from my MIDI device right here. So to get something affected or to tie it to something, you need to go to um, generic and then float out will control a, a singular float parameter. If you want to do a vector, you can also do that. Generic vector out or transforms right here under component. So I'm just going to name this throttle because that's a parameter that we can use from this spray. So just grab the spray from your hierarchy here and drop it here and then it'll give you the option to choose its component and then it'll give you the option to pick which one of these parameters you want to drive with your MIDI device so throttle this is set up now if I hit play my slider one from my MIDI controller should control the throttle of this particle system and as you can see it's already working um, if you followed my unreal tutorial you see this is way simpler faster to get set up so that's kind of why I'm doing the tutorial is I feel like this is probably a lot simpler to set up than some people that might want to do this even realize so I also should say that there's already a new method to do this if you go to Kajaro's he's got systems for bolt which is the new like unity's kind of answer to blueprints and I'm gonna go into this eventually I actually haven't used this for any of my projects and I, I feel like I've done some cool stuff with unity just using this Kajaro plugin so eventually I'll probably upgrade to that and do a tutorial on that but for now we can just uh, add some audio reactivity to this and, and wrap this tutorial up alright so we're gonna do some audio reactive stuff I did a cut of this with music and music has copyrights so we're just gonna do some audio reactive stuff to my microphone so this can be posted um, so we're just going to copy and paste this and create a new input, audio input, and this should allow you to do some tricks with audio. Let's put a float filter because this, these both just go from 0 to 1. So if you want a value to go from something other than 0 to 1, you can use this float filter. The amplitude will tell it how high it can go. So it could go to 15, and then if you put a bias instead of 0, it'll be like 0.5 as a 0 value coming in. So I'm not going to do that here. Um, just connect this to f this float filter, and then here, and then pick a different property to assign to, and check and see if this works. Turn up the throttle, and as you see, as I'm talking and clapping, we're affecting the particle system based on volume or the low end. So I guess this isn't really working that great. You could do a uh, band pass or a high pass and turn the filter up, and then you'll see more reactivity to your voice because your voice probably doesn't have a lot of lows to it um, yeah and that's pretty much it uh, the last thing is since we installed spout um, I'm gonna show you how to get that going you just go here and you'll add a script to your main camera 
you can remove these. If you remove these, they'll it'll get rid of the yellow warning messages in your console. If you get rid of all the ones that have yellow. Um, and then just add a component and we'll do spout and we'll do a sender and we'll just do game view and then jump back over to touch and do a siphon spout in and then select which one and then you can hit play in unity and it's just going to be the aspect ratio because it's a very quick setup. But as you can see, we're texture sharing. We're sending a video output from Unity and getting it into Touch Designer. And from here, you can do a bunch of different compositing tricks. Like you can change the hue, or you could also grab a level and just do all sorts of whatever you want to do it's kind of the best real-time compositing software out there so definitely check out touch designer i'll probably do a few tutorials on that in the future as well but thanks for checking out my channel um, if you want to see more free tutorials like this make sure to subscribe um thanks bye